Lately, I've been getting the question of, hey, Andrew, how do you become a full-time entrepreneur? How can I transition from my job to being able to build my dream business? And for me, I'm gonna be very transparent. So for those that are afraid or fearful or afraid to take risk or you're sensitive, you probably might wanna watch this video. Because the reality is this, in business, clarity equals speed. And in order to be clear, and in order to be efficient, you have to know what it takes to go from employee to business owner. And in doing so, the first thing you need to do is be able to establish and understand what is my bottom line? What is the amount of money that I need, the minimal amount of money that I need to survive so that I have obtainable goals and daily tasks transitioning into the business so that I know, hey, my, I need 3,000 a month, I need 2,000 a month, I need 5,000 a month to be able to survive, perfect. The second part is identifying the kind of business that you want. Are you selling lollipops? Are you a car salesman? Are you a realtor? Are you a loan originator? Are you, are you in the insurance industry? What is the business? What's the line of work you wanna go into? And that's important because from there you need to understand what is my margin? Or hey, am I 100% commission? What's my overhead? Because from there you need to identify, hey, I need 10 sales a month. Or hey, I need five sales a day for five days out of the seven to position myself to say, hey, if I don't complete these things, I need to double up week two. I need to, I need, I really need to double down on the seventh day if I haven't completed these things because I won't hit my bottom line. It's crucial. It's crucial and it, it's not discussed enough. And a lot of people transition unclear and they end up getting very lost in the second part, which is very important. And the second phase of, of transitioning to a full-time entrepreneurship is the survival period. Zero to 36 months in the business, you have to understand, you're probably not going to make any profit. You're probably not going to make any profit. You're going to make enough money to put gas in the tank, to get to the next deal, to recruit the next person, to sit in front of your next prospect that's going to get you your forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars 12 months from now. But I promise you this, it's doing that that's going to position you to make sure that in the long term, your business becomes the business that you can only dream of. But the survival period, it is crucial. Remember this, you can never, and I'm gonna say this again, you can never be successful in anything or get a return on anything if you don't sow into it. You have to put gas in the car so that it can go. You have to sow the, you have to sow the fields so that you can yield a harvest. The same thing is in business. You have to put yourself in a position to give so that you can receive. And the last part for me that is very, very important is paying the price in full. A lot of people don't understand is that the price has to be paid and you have to pay it in full. If you don't pay it in full, you're prolonging your success. You're prolonging the impact that you're going to make. You're prolonging the, 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 the effects of what it is that's going to turn your business from zero to a hundred million dollars from zero to $20,000. You're prolonging it. So understand, clarity equals speed. Identify your bottom line. Identify the industry. Understand the survival period. And don't quit too soon.